Millions of people around the world have signed on to a petition calling for a reduced sentence for that driver. Today, we're hearing from the loved ones of the four people who were killed in the crash and survivors whose lives were forever changed that day. Many, many of them agree that a 110-year sentence is excessive, but as News Nation's Nicole Fierro from our Denver station reports, they say some crucial details from the trial that led to a conviction are suddenly being overlooked. These are seven people whose lives forever changed with this crash on April 25th, 2019. I will never, ever be able to talk to my son again. And I will never be able to hug him or see his smiling face. Grieving loved ones to healing drivers hit. I was headed over 95 miles an hour, and I don't know why I'm sitting here today. The cops said there's no reason I should have walked out of that crash. I was actually uh, one of the truck drivers that was in the middle lane that ended up being hit by uh, Aguilera Madero's. Lucky to be alive with loved ones lost, but struggling daily, especially these last two weeks. This all brings it back up. Last two weeks have been just a, a roller coaster ride of emotions where I feel almost like I'm paralyzed again. Seeing social media posts and millions petitioning for clemency for the truck driver. All the focus is on how his life is going to be changed forever. Um, it should be. None of us expected or would want him to spend 110 years in jail. And we were told that at the time of sentencing that the process was in place to revise this sentence and it would be done. I'm outraged with all these celebrities and all these people that don't know what on that day and what happened that day. Opinions they say they shared with the governor's office. So it would be a bad precedent if governments allow social media to influence their decisions, yes. you know, without all the facts. Facts and impacts from the innocent people forever changed in this fiery wreck. Remember the victims, the holidays are here. And I don't think this could be a worse time for all of us. Nicole Fierro, News Nation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.